Hello guys, my name is Felix and welcome to Lucid Bots Service Vehicles. Right here we have a 250 Sprinter van. Pretty awesome vehicle, about 100 inches long and 55 inches wide. Um, and if you follow me right here, so this is a setup that I decided to create with Midwest. And this van is truly amazing and amazing for uh, drones or just washing in general. So here we have our fuel tank for our high pressure pressure washer. And then we have our battery here. Also, Brian from Midwest, he installed the fuse panel and everything. So we have a lot of electrical things like electrical reels. Um, also, you can turn on and off chemicals electrically, and then you have lights going on on each side of the vehicle. And then we have our two soap tanks um, and a DI resin tank. Uh, the DI resin, the flow is very consistent. It doesn't actually come down whenever you're putting water in there, which is amazing, especially if you're doing residential homes and they have well water. Um, you don't have to lose more, even more pressure when you're actually putting everything in there. We have our lava bot and Sherpa here. I'll be making a second shelf so we can have a second Sherpa and a battery charging station. Um, so goal is to be as efficient as possible. Um, things like generators and things like that will help us not have to worry about finding things or we can clean more areas that don't have accessibility to power or water with this system. So these are our soft washing and high pressure washing pressure washers here. Um, what's cool about this is that you have everything enclosed in a van, which makes it more efficient. We have two actual tanks right here. We have a hundred raw water tank and then a hundred deionized water tank. And then we have a 55 chemical tank for SH and things like that. We also have two seven gallon tanks for soap. And then we have our high pressure washer that goes down to this 4,500 PSI, eight gallons per minute. And then we have our soft washing system right here. This is a new P40. I know a lot of people have been excited about using that P40. Um, it's awesome, great flow, and it does a really good job with the drone, especially when we're going higher. The higher you go, um, I'm not seeing a lot of drop on pressure whenever I'm spraying things. And then we have our water supply here. You just pull this out very quickly, and then you're good to go on there. Just hook it up to a water source, and then everything gets filled up. You can switch your pressure washers between DI and raw water here. And then the soft wash, you just want to use raw water for that because that's where all the chemicals hooked up there. Um, but yes, you don't need something as fancy as this, things like electric reels. You don't need electric reels, but it's awesome, especially if it's 105 degrees and it's very hot and humid, um, like it is here in North Carolina most of the time. So those electric reels, you just hit these buttons here and then it reels everything up super good. If you're a one man band or a two band band, you guys have these tools and makes it more efficient. I also can turn on and off everything from here, which is awesome. I won't do it now so we don't blast anybody's ears, but I can remotely turn on and off our soft washing rig and our high pressure rig. And then here I just have extra DI tank just in case we wanna bring out the water fed pole if there is a tree in the way. You know, you don't wanna fly a drone into a tree. So we got different things to make the job easier. Like I said, I installed some lights here. Um, these are things, you know, $20 lights, um, but it also lets you be safe. So, you know, that chemical is running. Whenever these lights turn on, you can actually see that chemical is running. And, you know, if you're in a distance, 150, 200 feet, you know that it actually switched to chemical on and you're good to go. Thank you for watching. This was the LucidBot service vehicle. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching.